Hello everyone, my name is Teddy Prism and welcome back to Stories, The Path of Destinies. Last episode we assembled Skyripper completely and now it is time for us to test it. Or should we go and ask for advice about using it? Well, last time uh, when we asked for advice, uh, we turned to hippie, and I think uh, we rather uh, go more actiony route this time. So, no time for fussing. Attack the outpost. The Sky Ripper was complete. The super, super weapon could put an end to the Emperor's madness, but would it work at the critical moment? Maybe it needed field testing, and the Imperial outpost on the Nexus was the perfect target. Sounds good to me. Leonardo had never been much of a student. At sword through school, he'd never read the books, just looked at the pictures. Hmm, and Zenobia. But weapons he understood. His gut told him that the Sky Ripper would work great. He would use it to take out the Imperial outpost. And what's the worst that could happen? The thing wouldn't work, and then he'd take it to the scientists. Right? Sounds exactly. just about right. As he set out down the path, of action. Renato wondered why the parts of the Sky River had only surfaced now, thousands of years after the Transcendent Emperor had discarded it. This Emperor, Good question. Isengrim III, had performed terrible, bloodthirsty rituals to invoke the Lost Gods. Perhaps that was bringing up lost artifacts. How perfect, then, that the Sky Ripper would reappear to be his destruction. Let's get these... And go! There's uh, some ravens suddenly! Anybody knew you shouldn't that cast a raven further than you could throw easily. one. But that was surprisingly easy. I love those uh, time uh, slowing and time uh, stop uh, skills I got. Even though I just uh, click way too fast uh, to make uh, real use of them, but I still like them. And we can uh, enter this. Just uh, let's get the right sword. Uh. That was strange. So what can I find before. here? Nothing over there, so just uh, go on this one. Where does this lead us? No idea. Up way, upwards uh, to, so to something, but uh, what uh, we are going to find, no idea yet. Enemies here. I love these. Ah! Oh, that hurt. Yes. Yeah, that hurt. Why am I so slow now? Move, move. I like to know why I'm so slow. Not everyone knew how to use magical Attack gems. speed. Of course. I not everyone had magical gem gauntlets like he did. And why can't I enter here? Now really why I'm why now why am I so slow now? Okay. 
Is it uh, something to do with that Skyripper? He was tired of slaughtering ravens. Maybe it was time to test out the new weapon. He turned a knob well, on the Well, that Sky explains it. It made strange mechanical noises. The wheel spun faster. It began to hum. The Sky Ripper was following his every mm. step. At least it acknowledged him as the master. Good. But there was no trigger. How was he supposed to fire it? Fire, he said. Nothing happened. I'm still uh, well, slow. Well, maybe it just needed to warm up. After all, it hadn't been fired in thousands of years. Or maybe it's just those ravens need to show up. Smashing things was fun. If this is uh, because of the storyline, uh, this slowness, uh, I'm okay with that. But still, it's kind quite annoying. I'm going to switch that out to that uh, attack speed one. Yeah. 10% increase in attack speed. Now why are you... Really? Is it uh, because of this storyline? Skyripper was making a whining noise now, and its wheels were spinning so fast he could no longer yeah. see them. Renato had a thought. Is that a good idea? Please? He asked. The Skyripper began to glow. Boom! The outpost burst into flame. Well, that Raven seems effective. Wings on fire. <laughs> the base was his. The fire speaker toad came hopping out. Renato! It croaked, sounding like a toad version of Zenobia. Don't use the Sky Ripper. It will destroy the world. Yeah, what? sure it will. Cracked Renato. Pull the other one. If you don't trust me, go see Calaveras. That sounded sensible. Why did she always have to sound sensible all the time? Oh, it was infuriating. Of course, she would say that. He was supposed to mm. hurry and bring the Sky Ripper to the council so the rebels could actually win the war. But what if she was right? Damn it. Yeah, that's uh, kind of a dilemma here. But I think, uh, well, uh, Zenobia is kind of, kind of a part of enemy, so I think uh, we are going to go and take this to Rebel base. Take the Sky Ripper to the Rebels. The Sky Ripper turned out to be an amazing weapon. It was time to celebrate, but then Zenobia crashed the party. She claimed the Sky Ripper could destroy the world. Of course, she was lying, probably. She was an enemy general, of course. She would be afraid of the Sky Ripper. He should bring the weapon to the rebel base and just win the war. Just this once, he would not let Zenobia get into his head with her logic and her wisdom and her appeals to reason. He was a fox. He'd go with his instincts, and it would all work out like it always did. Oh, he was sounding like a reckless idiot, even to himself. But if there was one thing Renato could never bring himself to do, it was turn back on a decision he'd made. Yeah. Also, why was Zenobia... A toad. For a moment there. Imperials were flapping and cawing all around the ruins. They must be panicking with rumors flying of the super weapon. Maybe they hoped to find and destroy the base before he could put the Sky Ripper into action. The Sky Ripper was whining and heating up. It will be time to use that energy soon. Yeah, sounds like it. But let's first reach that end first. 
Well, that was a little bit of pointless uh, saying it first a uh, couple more times. Alright, level up. Let's get the next uh, sealed hooking. Now yeah, let's get that. More extraordinary. So we can maybe take out Nan. I'm not going to take out that uh, destroy shield game. It's uh, way too useful. Oh, that hurt. I almost died there. I think. At least I mean, I my health went to a low. Carpet. This was more like a flying tabletop. <laughs> do. Good point. And let's see if there's any energy in these. Only one. But we got a little bit of health there at the same time. And ravens. One raven only. That was awesome! Well, there we go with the more ravens. Apparently that's Skyriper uh, versus uh, against the ravens. Why knew he destroyed the outpost? He hoped so. He was excited. With his super weapon, they could actually win their battle with the Imperial fleet. Oh yes. I hope so too. Now... Is there anything in here? Yes, there's this door. But let's hey. first get that there. Hey, I'm a Firefox. <laughs> let's get this uh, door open and uh, see what's inside here. And off we go. Looks like a uh, arena and uh, then a uh, treasure. Yeah, like I said, arena. His Another game. Used to say Physical resistance to. Stupid old fart. There is plenty of wisdom in all the man's sayings, usually. So, going uh, this way then. And uh, wire. Had that door been open before? I can't remember. Did we open that door uh, before we visited this area? Another game, critical chance. Mm, not so impressive, I think. We should do almost be there, but there's going to be enemies. Uh, apparently not. Just straight up loading. What was Zenobia talking about? This was a fantastic nope. weapon. Ravens. Burst into flames. That's just blocked uh, this time. Its killer beam. He was tempted to leave it on all the time, but mm, he didn't want to accidentally slice off some council toad's head or tongue. Yeah, she'd been trying to distract him. Well, this time, no one was going to distract him. This is way too easy with this uh, Sky Ripper. No, really, what it's was uh, really fun. Was hooking yourself oh. onto a moving ship. We found something new. Bunnies terrorize. Bunnies terrorize. Humili humiliate. The masses have uh, been raising their fists, led by a handful of nobles with too much ambition. Is it envy that uh, the power that I seek is something uh, they want for themselves? Are they just criminals who want to steal from us? There is but one punishment for such crime. Death. 
make an example of the leaders, execute anyone who dares following them? Or is it fear that the sacrifices I have been making would extend to them? Is this a far for survival? Show them uh, the true meaning of fear, strike them fast and strike them hard, make them suffer, burn everything they hold dear. Or is it pride that the meaning of those sacrifices would forever escape their comprehension? They want the inclusion, uh, I say in my decision, I say in my decision. This arrogance cannot be allowed. Take those who surrender to the salt mine, let their lungs fill with the uh, corrosive dust. Let them betray one another for scraps of food. Let their children watch as they fall into savagery. End rebellion without mercy. Punish, terrorize, humiliate. Emperor Isengrim III, Far Manifesto. Yeah, that sounds uh, quite... Uh... Yeah, I don't want to... I don't really like that kind of ultimatums myself. Well, who would uh, like those? This chest was filled with reprints of the entire Sandman series. Reprints? God, what was the point of collecting those? Ooh, and there was something else. And, uh, well, let's upgrade our uh, Firestorm. Also ignites all surrounding enemies. Nice! There we go. And... Uh, should we switch out uh, some games? I don't think... Uh, not uh, just yet. Because we still uh, need uh, some... Uh, some more loot for uh, sword upgrades and also these games. And I also like uh, quite a lot of this 10% uh, uh, speed increase. And I don't want to bother with those shielded enemies. Uh, Try to hook them. More enemies. Well, I didn't like that. Oh, oops! I dashed right into that explosion. Well, let's just restart from the checkpoint. Luckily, it wasn't too far away. Yeah. I really need to get some healing. That is a very cool sword, thought Renara. No, seriously. <laughs> well, it's an uh, ice sword. What were you expecting? Yeah. Let's just get this uh, healing sword. Again with these eyes. Who are you looking at? Oh, right. No one. I really don't like these. And which way is correct way? Here. And down these uh, stairs. And we should uh, reach the uh, rebel base then. Long stairs. So he was close to the rebel base. Nothing was on fire. So far, so good. And we want We can finally get those that... No, 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 no. I need to switch out. This was the craziest weapon you ever used. Oh, no. There we go with healing. Down you go. Oh, I got hit there, but uh, that was fun. And the way is open, but first uh, let's go get that uh, chest here. He had some way to break the ice. 
or convince it he was a friend. There we go. Almost uh, at that chest. Anything nice? Another game. Attack speed level 2. Great. And let's uh, head to finish this storyline. As he headed towards the council chamber, Renato felt everyone watching him. You saved the rebellion, said the council speaker. Frankly, we were afraid you'd turn aside to save that idiot Lapino. If you never make sacrifices, he said, you're probably not doing the right thing. The speaker yeah, that's nodded. True. Are you ready to lead the charge? Let's roll, he said, <laughs> with great so epicness. Bernardo set sail for the fleet. The Sky Ripper had lost its wine. It was humming now, as if it had taken some time to seat properly. He had always been irresponsible. This time, he'd done the right thing. And I feel so myself decisions. too. Yeah. He was a real hero. He hadn't let himself be distracted by old friends or old lovers turned enemies. Finally, he could be proud of himself. It is time for final assault. He was ready. So was Sky Ripper. The Sky Ripper had a yes, way of its own. Yes, we can. It picked out its own targets and set them on fire. Which is this amazing. Is be a short battle. <laughs> some fire if he didn't need them to get to the Emperor. And he wondered if he'd see Zenobia, or if she'd flee. <laughs> Wouldn't she be proud of him? At least, a bit of respect. He'd become an all-conquering hero. <laughs> also, we can finally to look out uh, what's uh, in behind this door. The new pathway made Renato curious. I'm uh, curious myself too. Oh, this seems interesting. There's that altar, but we don't need it yet. And a chest. That one we will need. Level 2 on energy on kill chem. Ooh. Well, is there another ship coming? There, here it comes. And we are on board now. Well, this feels a little bit of letdown here. Oh well. There was a parchment on a signpost. Oh. It was from her. Every time you fire, you risk the destruction of the universe. That's insane. We surrender. Oh. A trick? Maybe she really believed it. He could hear horns blaring the retreat. Maybe it was true. Maybe That's they had surprising. Them. Should we trust it? Maybe. He was At least him. there's no enemy. Yeah, his own shape. Well, no, no, no. I went straight into those explosions. Let's restart from checkpoint. Well, that uh, was embarrassing. I did the same mistake I <laughs> just did a moment earlier. I need to switch the uh, sword. It was tempting to just stand on the device and let it do all the killing for him. But that wouldn't be sporting, would it? And not one at all. 
I need some health here. That's going to be my next uh, level up uh, target. Increased health. Oh, did you see that the uh, Raven going uh, on half? That was quite amazing. Take a leap of faith, said the inscription. We are almost at the Emperor. I think. So... Oh! This way. This is a little bit different than last time. Normally we would be over uh, at that ship. No, 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 out of the way! No, no, no! Ah! I got stuck in uh, that explosion once again. Yeah, this is uh, starting to get a little bit embarrassing here. Dying so often. So we are doing something right, considering uh, this is uh, different than a uh, usual room this game takes us. Now we're not going to get stuck on that exploding enemy. There we go. Let's see if there's any healing in these. Oh. And there well, was hello. Zenobia. Wearing the white robes of surrender. She came and kneeled before him. Why didn't you listen to me? I was trying to save you too. You're the enemy, he said. I was never your enemy, Renato. And, and you yet you are. Not for the first time. How much she loved him. Oh. Then she spoke Good a point. terrible word and made a gesture with her hand. She stopped moving, covered in frost, and he wondered why she'd frozen herself. Then the Sky Ripper froze, and no. then for a moment he felt very cold and discovered that he couldn't move. The next thing he knew, the sun was a giant, monstrously red. It took up half the sky. And he Wait, was in a vast red desert. And then he was on fire. And just like that, he was alive again. Well, that was Back confusing ending. Earth, still fleeing burning Ubar. The book was still open before him. So, the book was a portal. It took you to the future when your destinies would branch. He had failed and died three times. And he hadn't learned anything new this time. He'd done the same thing twice, yet expected a different outcome. Well, not really. That was completely a new pathway, but... Yeah. New story completed. Story number seven. Reynard Nukem. What kind of hero are you? A hero who doesn't let anything get in the way of his mission. Plus uh, five fire essences as a reward from that. The truth finder will help you find the paths that lead to truths uh, you have not found yet. Look for this icon when making choices in the book. Oh, I kind of uh, wish that uh, there wasn't uh, something like this. I'm sure it will affect my choices in future, even though I don't want it to affect them. Anyway, we got a... Uh, that was uh, quite a... At least I like that storyline. It was a nice uh, change of pace, at least uh, in my opinion. Well, 
Anyway, I think this is a good place to end this episode. Thanks everyone uh, for watching. I will be seeing you next time. Goodbye.